YouTube, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Azaka FX at another um trade. And as you can see, this is the ten dollar to a hundred thousand dollar challenge, and this is the we are now at eight thousand dollar. I have forgotten how we did it, but I'll be leaving the link below in the description for the rest of the parts that we've done in case if you want to you know go check them out. For this, I've already actually dropped this analysis in the mentorship, as you can see right here. And let us do what we do first, best first, before I go ahead and explain the criteria for this trade. So this is actually the first time I am single-handedly opening a 10 lot size. So I really don't know what's flow. But it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to imagine the account and not enough money. So as you can see, we're only able to take um, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 lots, which is quite a lot for this um. Um, account now so long as at our point of our entry our margin level is 108 we should be able to enter more because we still got some free margin we're already layering in this position so what i'm going to be doing is i'll be going to reduce my lot size and try to layer of, of course as you can see and try to layer off of this position and we've got it so that is basically what layer is wait for when your margin level is at 103 percent then entering off of those um, free margin that will be created absolutely but then we layer and you have to make sure that your technical analysis is absolutely correct now if we go back to our chat you notice that i'll be able to take on um okay i have for me to take on my entry i have to reduce my lot size again 3.1 so not enough money so that is that for that now let me explain the reason for this trade first of all for me to um, explain the reasons for this trade, we have to go on to dxy so let's go on to dxy and the weekly time frame to get our buyers determination if you are following up on my video, you will know fully well that bias determination is done on the weekly time frame and we already did it. From the looks of this thing, from the looks of this thing, we are still in this zone right here and price mitigated this other block but for some reason price has been buying on the XY which is against the correlation it has with GPPUSD because GPPUSD and DXY is negatively correlated. But then we are saying that based off of um, it's still in our zone, so it would be wrong for us to look for a buy, even if this is the weekly time frame. But if we're trading something like the five minutes time frame, we should not be looking for a sell. But we're trading the four hour time frame on GPP USD. So, um, sorry about that. Four hour time frame on GPP USD, so we can actually look for a sell. Now, I dropped this signal, but I told them not to enter yet because the one we're going to be trading um, in our next challenge is actually a four dollar to five hundred dollar, of which I'm going to carry everyone in the mentorship with so when that signal comes in i'll be dropping that signal too in the group but for now this is for this because this account can actually handle whatsoever floating loss that i'm going to be accumulating in this position so that is why i'm doing this now as per our bias which is the negative correlation with the xy we got ourselves a valid order block right here so i'll have to delete um let me delete this so that you guys can see clearly the other block I'll delete these and um, these. So we got ourselves a valid other block right here. Sorry, price is covering it a little bit, but this is our other block right here. So this being our other block right here is been is valid because it actually broke um structures. So it broke structure all the way here. You guys know that you have to get that particular other block. So it broke structure all the way here. You have to get that particular other block that actually broke structure and is pro trained on a time frame such as the one hour and the four hours preferably the four hours but that is just it for this trade now we've got our valid other block you guys know that another block has to have a bullish engulfing candle in this case being a bullish other block totally engulfing the other one it has to be pro trade now if you go down to the something like the five minutes or some you notice that this is an entire trend this is an entire trend i would not be going down okay i will go down after plotting my trend so this is an entire trend so by the time we go down to the five minutes let, let's find that trend line it will be very difficult to spot and i really don't want to switch my but that is an entire trend so let me delete that and let's see how this trade goes guys and as you can see it's the same account i really do not switch accounts it's the same account let's see how this trade goes ladies and gentlemen it's your boy azaka fx if you've not subscribed to my channel subscribe and um keep learning guys i see you on the world cheapest mentorship of five dollar and the broker i recommend the link is in the description one hour later so guys sorry so so sorry i'll first of all apologize i have to like close i'm closing because of the margin level being in negative it was a negative that was why i have to close and um let me take a screenshot now i'll take a screenshot so i've been closing off some entries they were very very much before i resumed this part of the video video because if you check the time now the time is 2:53, and that's one hour candle is about to close so i'm just gonna do all this and 
close everything right now before I do the explanation because there's not really much time. I'll explain what happens. Now we are 35,000. We are 35,000 and that one of our candle. Now, in the group, I told them that I told them that this um, zone right here, this as you can see in this screenshot, I told them that this zone right here is um, the TP1. But it was a very high trade. But there is an SNRC right here in form of this. Um, sorry, let me adjust that color. Let me adjust that color. Remember, as much as this is a flip, this is also an educational video. So there is an SNRC right here in form of this, form of that other block too. And when price is pulling into an SNRC with a one-hour candle about to close, that is definitely there's definitely bound to be a pullback of some sort. I don't know how that pullback is going to be, but I was hedging on a lot of position. As you can see, we went from eight thousand to thirty-five thousand dollar, and it's still the same account. I am I'm going to just um explain, finish my explanation, then that will be the end of this video. See you in the next part. Now, after that SNRC gets, we knew that price struggled the first time. As you can see, price struck came. It has price. This is not the first time price is coming. As you can see, it's already pulling back. If I had not closed, I would have been losing a lot of dollars quickly now price did the same thing tap into that snrc and fell back now it was repeating the same thing so when i saw that price was already in that zone again i just had to rush to close it then in the group i told them that when price has successfully break past that zone then we will be taking another entry so that is all for this video see you in the next video it's your boy azaka fx mm -hmm.